Hi, meteorologist Peter Hall. Here is your NBC3 forecast. And as we look ahead today, look at some substantially colder. We knew that that was going to happen. And in fact, daytime temperatures are going to hang out in the upper teens, the lower 20s. There should be a spray of flurries and light snow showers. And many of us have picked up a trace coating to an inch of snow last night. And I think we'll get a little bit more between now and when Santa comes down the chimney. Certainly the shivers have returned to central New York. It should be cold today, tonight and through Christmas afternoon. And despite all that recent rain that melted almost all of our snowpack, again, many areas, not every single spot, but many areas will have a white Christmas. You'll see why in a sec. A seasonable finish to the week. So what's normal? Mid 30s for highs, lower 20s for lows. Well, that's how we end up Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Although, like I said before, and I said this yesterday, it appears like starting Monday of next week and at least through next all of next week through the new year, it is going to be some of the coldest air of the season. So just get ready for that. So here's what's happening. Overall, there's a large spray of flurries and snow showers. What I've tried to indicate on the map here is where you're seeing all these little white dots. That's just a very light stream of flurries or very light snow showers in the blue. The blue is where you actually get some accumulating snow. And if you watch, you'll notice most of Western New York, the central and Western Finger Lakes are going to get that. And then some snow is coming in off of Lake Ontario with a north wind, especially Western half of Oswego, Northern Cayuga, Eastern and Northern Wayne counties, and maybe into areas like Van Buren or Lysand or maybe Baldwinsville. At least during the daytime hours, that appears to be the best chance for accumulating snow as we hang in the upper teens, the lower 20s. However, during the evening, remember, these are some of the longest nights of the year. We're probably going to wind up getting a new plume of lake effect. Watch right there. See that now? It's not a lot. I'll give you that, but that's just in time for a white Christmas, right? You need to officially have an inch of snow on the ground to get it. So what's my forecast for new snow? Now, those of you far north country, eh, probably less than an inch. Every bed that does not have any colors, it's less than an inch or nothing. I think quite a few spots southeast of Lake Ontario should have one inch of snow. So if you're in this color, you get one locally two inches. By the way, southern and western New York, anywhere from one to two to two to six. If you're in this darker blue area right in here, this does not mean everybody gets six, but everybody should get two. And I bet you in many places to get three or four isolated amounts of four, five, and six in there. So we'll keep you posted. And again, it's the best chance for accumulating snow next 24 hours. A lot of this snow is either completely apart, falling apart, or just about apart by tomorrow morning. Any flurries end. And then it's actually sun and clouds for a while before thickening clouds Christmas afternoon. We're single digits to start the morning, 20 to 25 in the afternoon. Passing flurries Wednesday night. A uh, Thursday should be a day with a lot of wind south to southwest to westerly winds. At least, though, the temperature will be near normal. Now, the wind chill won't be fun, but it'll still be in the mid 30s for a high 15 percent sunshine today. 50 percent sunshine Wednesday and 10 percent sunshine on Thursday. Probability is high for snow showers today and Thursday. Now, notice Friday I've got this split again. North, meaning directly east of Lake Ontario, there's likely to be quite a bit of lake effect snow. In Syracuse, maybe a passing snow shower and flurry near Route 20 and points south on Friday. Some snow showers likely from Lake Erie over the area. Here is your seven day forecast. I'm meteorologist Peter Hall. I hope you have a great Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Happy holidays to everybody.